second as that one is sent. Bon Scott could have very easily drifted over his fingers and right into the path of Matthew Hennessy. Valentini picking this one up. Lobs his way around one advantage, allowed to accrue. Yusuf Ahmed, a golden chance! Yui Ahmed opens the scoring at ABD Stadium. Boland, edge of the penalty area, trying to find the shooting angle. Goes low at the near post. A beautiful finish from Liam Boland. On Scott, under pressure there from Lockhead. Lockhead gets a foot to it. Hatsi Georgiou nods it back towards goal. Lockhead brings out the control, but he's offside. Katabian curling it right hand side. It's off the upright. Rahimi skips around one. Well played there from Naeem Rahimi. Back out to Yildiz, can get this ball into the area. That's a ball to the wall, it's a back post. Well, it's Hatsi Georgia goes past Bond Scott, brings it under control, has plays in the middle. Plays it in board, Lockhead, can he get the shot away? He does! And Pasco Vale have found their way back into the game. And it's their main man up top, Scott Lockhead. An eye out for Marcia and Carpenter at the back post. is flighting nearly, ends in an Olympico. And the flick on from Rick Abene is cleared off the line. There comes Hillia, the fingertip save. It's still alive, and eventually we get it out. And they've already lost possession. Valentini from it, from Rage, it's into the back of the net. And just like that, Avondale are three, one ahead. Stefan Valentini. Egon to deliver. Flick on, is cleared off the line. Again, they go close, Pasco Vale. Lockhead recycles it. Moving was Todorov. They're able to trying to clear their lines. Eventually, Joey Katabian with the firmest touch out. Oliver top towards Kolokovsky. It's cleared by Phil Rikobene. And that's it. Avondale are through to the national stages of the FFA Cup, the round of 32. Well, we'll stay with the short corner here. Henry Hoare into the box he goes. And he's trying to free his feet for a shot. It's blocked away, and now the follow-up is denied as well. And here's the cross into the area. Header from Schroen. Hits the crossbar. Follow in by Adams. Was it handled on the line? The referee had a good view. And credit there to Miller. He used his body. Marcus Schroen is the man who picks up a yellow card. But really, the point of contention was, was it a handball on the goal line? Williams pulled the clearance only as far as Lambropolis. And hoping for greatness, Perry Lambropoulos launches that one over the crossbar. We are going to start extra time, 15 minutes each way, for a spot in the national round. Cross here from Knowles and the late arriving Decker. And the follow-up from Fashini, was he wiped out after shooting? Well, he was, but not illegally. Knowles spinning and sending in a teasing cross, which is held onto by Clark. Penalty shootout to decide who goes through to the national round of 32 between the Oakley Cannons and South Melbourne. Brad Norton of South Melbourne to shoot first. And he puts South Melbourne into a 1-0 lead with an emphatic penalty down the middle. Penalty number one for Oakley. Guest. Saved! Pierce Clark comes up with a huge stop. Henry Hoare, a deep breath, a stutter step run up, and a good spot kick. The veteran Holmes. And he saves Oakley's FFA Cup campaign. Six kicks each, five all the score. Lyra Melmazi, South Melbourne shooting first. Oh, it squeaks in under the keeper. All boils down to this penalty kick for Oakley. Saved! South Melbourne are going to the national stage of the FFA Cup. Pierce Clark is the hero. And South Melbourne will grace the national stage. Mona gets on the ball, left footed effort, straight. At Withers in the end from the powerfully built midfielder. Kousis from range, blocked away. Now it's going to fall and that's... Oh! How did he miss? Off the crossbar. Towards the back post. Eager's there. Can't quite direct it on goal through the traffic. It's still there. Just collected by Kostaninovsky. This one, Amachi trying to bring it forward. He had to shoot from an angle, but he made very good contact with it for the Sharks. Again, they keep going in towards that six-yard box, trying to get bodies around Kostaninovsky. Punched away, Kusis whips it back in. At the back post, appeals for a penalty. Waved away. Now, Moreland getting bodies forward. Number of players go to Niall Goran. It doesn't go near him, it's delivered in, and that's the opening goal of the game for the Moreland Zebras, Tremaine Sattler. Wells Moore plays this one. Into the area, Courtney Perkins can't slide there and get a shot across. And not being quite pedestrian-like throughout much of it. Whipped in. Players are Reardon! Aaron Reardon does it! 
with just minutes of regulation remaining. Cessnick twisting and turning and shooting and scoring! Valentin Cessnick puts the Sharks ahead 2-1 in extra time of the FFA Cup. Stolen away by Courtney Perkins and the referee blows full time. Port Melbourne return to the national stages of the FFA Cup. And again, this is how QMC like to play their ball. Quick pacey attack here, quick opportunity. Gonna get the first goal of the game. And they do through Matt Lazaridis to Watson. Oh, Chang's gonna get the ball. He'll get it. That was absolutely beautiful there. And that is another goal for Hume City. And that is Josh Bingham. The Hayden Tennant both very solid, especially in the air, because we've seen lots of balls whipped in as we are once again at the moment. Josh here! That was very close. And good last touch there from Boz Dugan. McRae going to try and find Win. Not a bad idea, though. Can Win get the first goal? And it's gone left side of the post. Chance for Mombolk. Well done there by Maricic. Hume no, McRae. Chance here now for Hume City. And again, good save there from Allen. It gives possession. Sells a little bit of candy. What can they do here? Chance here now. Can they get the first goal? They can't. McRae from the corner. Chance here. Can they get one? No, they can't. And that is game, set, match. Hume City are the final team through to the Victorian League of the National Competition in round 32. Well done to Hume City.